What is going on guys? My name is Ramon Beck again from Mountain Views here with another episode reaction to The God of High School. This is episode 4, Marriage Bonds. Curious as to what this means, uh, <laughs> but I, from the I think the first round robin has happened, and the we are now technically into what the quarterfinals. Um, I'm assuming in this giant tournament arc. I wonder how long this tournament arc is going to last. Because if you think about it, this entire thing started off as a tournament arc, and it's going to. I, I don't I don't see it ending unless every single like near the end each episode is an entire fight. I don't I, I don't know. Like, I don't know where this series is going. And it's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that um, I don't know where the series is going. Um, at least for right now. Again, I've only seen three episodes. And I've heard that they've been skipping a lot of things. But you guys have to realize that in order to make an adaptation, you can't adapt everything one for one. It's nearly impossible. Um, one, and also sometimes they would rather get two more plot-related things rather than just showing some extra flair i guess you could say um i heard one time that there was like an entire fight scene between um when they were looking for mira's sword in the i believe the canal of the river um they fought a, a street gang and yeah that would have been cool animated but they probably looked at it and like hey they don't we don't need to a animate this we'd rather jump into more of the story because i'm pretty sure they have it all mapped out where exactly the season's going to end and they want to end it off with as much of the actual story and lore jam-packed in as possible for the most part. I'm assuming if they're doing it in the right way, which is how you're supposed to do it. Um, don't want my hair sticking out. But yeah, so I'm curious as to what this episode's going to entail and how the series is going to continue forward. Again, it's going to be harder to remember all these names, um, but eventually I'll get used to it. Well, I'll get used to it, the Korean names. But anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode, so without further ado, let's jump in to the fourth episode of God of High School, so in three, two, one, let's jam. Crunchyroll. <laughs> From manga to anime to back to manga. Wait, 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 really? Oh, that did we really actually jump to the? Huh? Oh, we haven't seen him at all. Oh man, shame. I didn't want any of these dudes to fight, but I mean, they kind of had to eventually. He hasn't even shown you his. <laughs> he hasn't even shown you his final form. <laughs> I know, cause he wants to fight both of them. <laughs> was it? That was English. Okay, so this title is named Marriage. Is this some pretty boy who's gonna, like, confess her? Confess to her? Because he saw her? Yeah. Yeah, I was... Okay. <laughs> I guess I, now I know, now we understand what the title of this episode is. <laughs> Be my wife. That's not how you do things, by the way. Yeah, you don't you don't do that. You're missing a couple steps there. Just saying. <laughs> okay, I actually... I didn't know that those, like, smaller fights... The one with, um... Bake and, um... Han. Was it, is his name Han? The, um... Guy with the white shirt. The convenience store worker. Um... I didn't know those were qu technically quarterfinals. Interesting. I'm curious as to uh, see how this is going to work. Because, alright, so. This is a good... Contradiction. You know, this is supposed to get a dub.
Gotta admit, though, this is probably the most, like, stylish in terms of, like, I love the color scheme to this. It's so good. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out who's going to win between... Wait, what? She's not actually looking... She's going through with it? Why? Okay, so she Okay, so she's got something good going for her then. Okay, she's got to be doing this for some reason. Is it publicity son? I wonder if it's publicity son, that's why she's accepting it. Oh, maybe he's sweet talking her for some reason. Okay, because you're not going in this kind of sh this kind of stuff. He's probably a piece of shit somewhere, just for the part part of course. I mean, if he's not and he's actually just genuinely a good guy, one, you're already beating the status quo and props. But usually with this kind of situation, it's more of like. Hmm. So he wasn't able to keep up. Very interesting art style that they're doing. Yeah, there's definitely got to be, like, some some actual reason for this. Ulterior motive. That's the word. So I'm curious as to what, see what's going to happen. Bulgogi. Dude, Bulgogi, if you ever had Bulgogi, mm, you're missing out. Bulgogi is just mm, perfect. So good. <laughs> yes, that is also wrong. How does he? How does he know where she lives? 
Yeah. <laughs> My question exactly. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, that really doesn't actually make sense. I wonder if this was built up more in the original webcomic. Yeah, there's there's definitely something underneath this. And it seems like too just rushed. No, I don't think... I mean, I understand that. <laughs> what, what if he's if if he hits the nail on the mark? This is gonna be even better. Like, I understand, like the idea but I, it's not a realistic thing i don't see like i know people who have been in this position where not exactly like hey if i marry you um your what you're fighting for will be secured i can see them they would have to ponder it i wouldn't see her just like yep sure it, it just it, it's not realistic and i know some people are like well wait a second this type of stuff doesn't need to be realistic. In a sense, that makes some sense, but not in this case. Damn. Okay. Looking good. You can tell she's fake. It's a fake smile. And I think he realizes that too. Good little, uh... Good little interaction right there. Wait a second, you're not supposed to see, the bride is not supposed to be, oh, I mean, maybe that's probably Western thing, okay, I'll shut up, sorry. There's that, there, there's gotta be an Ontario motive behind this. This is weird. This is a weird. Like, I know some people are like, well, wait a second. <laughs> God damn it. But no, no, I understand, like, some people are going to be like, well, realize that this is her, like, passion. This is her dream. This is her one thing that she wanted. It's just... Mm. It's a very ignorant way of thinking. It's also warped.
There's a lot of people. Damn. Is that a baton? That is a baton. Yeah, they're actively trying to prevent people from showing up. So. I think what's also weird about this is how le how out of left field this was. Oh! I totally forgot about that. I didn't I didn't realize that. I knew it. I knew there was an ulterior motive. I just didn't know that was him. I don't know. Did they actually show his face when they first showed that? Hey. My man. My man. Yeah, you would think he would have more... I would think he wouldn't have that much of a trouble between these guys. I mean, yeah, they had weapons, but uh, that didn't stop him before. Oh, so he's going to fight? Did he catch it with his nut? His You're just gonna, like, you don't realize how hard I train. Very true. That actually is very true. Ooh, that is harsh. Yeah, it's true. If someone gives you your dream, it wasn't yours. It wasn't worth the actual thing. Yeah, what about those two? You think you can just stop now? <laughs> Sorry, I, I love English.
Wait, wait, he actually summoned that? And that guy's taking a fucking video. I mean, it's modern year, that makes sense. Hey, there's danger in front of me. Quick, let me take a selfie. <laughs> so, okay, so what the fuck is it? Is it a fucking stand? It's a, It's got, it's like a stand. You done fucked up. For someone who was considered one of the top of the martial arts fields, he wasn't that good. Yeah, I am curious of what that giant fucking thing is. That other the the protect that one of the protect, um, practitioners had it. Thank you. It's okay. Hard to say. Oh, you son of a bitch! Yeah, but that That feels like that's a bad thing Wait, so are we not getting into the fight between them? No, no, we still got like what? Five more minutes? Maybe like three? Not including Oh, I'm just gonna go visit his Oh no. Is he not? Oh no. Beat the fuck out of them. Good. Fuck. I don't blame him. No, he's gonna. He's is he not gonna show? No, he probably he probably quit. Oh. She's not the one you should be taking out. Oh man! All right, so my qualms about this for the first like eighteen minutes of this episode got resolved. Got the the yeah, my qualms about the last like the first eighteen minutes got washed away with these last few like these last three four minutes. Oh man! I wasn't ex. Expecting that at all. He turned ruthless. He turned... He stopped caring. I mean, I know I didn't expect him to, like... I'm not... I just, like, from what I've experienced from him, I didn't expect him to, like, do that to her. I didn't expect that. Like, to just not even hold back and take his... Like... I understand, like, his, his situation, but you don't do that. You don't do that. That, that was rough. That was a rough episode. 
like I hope they explain more about this in the future because this was this was a weird episode. Not gonna lie, this was um. Oh. Oh, that just hurts even more. He went in to help her, and the next thing you know is beating the shit. This was a weird episode. All right, so let me do a little bit of rant. I think it might have had to do with the fact that I, what, the way I talked about it in the beginning, where I was saying, like, it's hard to... They want to get to the plot. They want to get to the plot as, much, as fast as possible. I felt like this is definitely a hindrance because you this almost felt like it was exactly what i was talking about where they had to cut out some things however what they cut out from what i feel like i don't know the original source material i've never read it um the, it feels like they cut off a lot of stuff because it felt way too fast and forced and out of left field like that entire this, that entire little the main focus of this episode was mira's marriage to this piece of shit which i called I mean, anyone with a brain and who's seen any type of anime or anything in media with this kind of situation tends to be an ulterior motive. Um, and it just seemed like so un unnatural from the character that they built up of e of Mira. And same thing with um, the guy, Han. They built him up as like, yes, he is standoffish and reserved, but he would always care for someone. I mostly would have seen him as someone who would be suffering. Yeah, I completely saw him taking it out on those people. Those guys who were being pieces of shit to him um, at that cafe. But I did not see it take it out on her, too. It's like he's taking it out on anyone. And... Anyone that he can. And it just doesn't feel like it's right to their characters. I mean, yes, I know. We've only had four episodes to build them up. But from what I've seen, what I personally have seen, it just doesn't feel like either of these arcs fit their characters. This sudden, like, acceptance of the of the, of the art was, uh, uh, of the marriage was not really, it didn't feel, to me personally, You, everyone could have their own opinions, perfectly fine. But to me personally, it didn't feel like it, it fit Mira's character. And the whole fact that Dewey was just beating the shit out of everyone and just, like, lost control and stopped caring and just became, like, this bloodhound, um, this guy just cr bloodthirsty, I guess, um, and unremorseful. I mean, who knows? I mean, we haven't really gotten a backstory on him, so I guess, like, they could completely rectify this in the next episode. I don't know. But... As of this episode, from episode four and and f from one to four, I couldn't see it match. Episode five com may completely change that line of thought next episode. I don't know. It's in the future. I'm not a time-traveling demon. <laughs> but, no, I would say that this is definitely the weakest episode. However, it could get rectified. Um, I, I still will I will stand behind the fact that the Mira thing was... It didn't feel like it was handled well. Like, if that actually is how it is done in the webcomic, I don't, I don't think that was good writing. Personally, personally, it could have, it could have also just been because of adaptation possible. I don't know, but yeah. Um, was it enjoyable? Yeah. Especially the ending came out of left field. Didn't expect that. So who knows? I'm definitely looking forward to the next episode though. I'm hoping they rectify some things and that I can enjoy this whole thing more. But anyways, guys, let me know, let me know what you guys saw in the comment section below, because that was a crazy episode. And yeah, I definitely want to see what happens next because... Yeah, our main character was not happy, and I, and no one, and everyone was like, this is brutal, this is over the top, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go do some stuff and then head to bed because I'm absolutely tired, um, even though it's in the middle of the afternoon, or, actually, or super early afternoon, um, but yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. See ya.